Well, you wanna catch catfish over there where I'm gonna take you, you nigga. Hey, Chant the Bomb fans, Chant the Bomb here. Happy Monday. It's been the Mondayest Monday I've ever encountered in my life. Ever. But anyway, so yesterday during uh, Sunday Fun Day, I posted two new videos of from the weekend. But I couldn't put in some of the clips that I'd taken yesterday with my brother talking about fishing. He's a new fisherman. I want to put in the spotlight on my YouTube channel. We had lunch with them yesterday, and I'm sorry the camera's shaking, guys, because, you know, I'm, I'm holding it with my hand. I don't have a tripod. But we had lunch with them yesterday, and he gave me a lot of information that I believe will be helpful to you guys. So I wanted to make a separate video for you guys with the fishing tactics that he uses. So with the abundance of clips that I had with him actually talking about the fishing, I had to pick and choose what I wanted you guys to see. So I put all that in this video today, and that's mainly what this video is going to be about. Now, where he lives, he lives down there by Lake Cumberland, Cumberland Falls. If you guys are not familiar with it, go ahead and Google it, because I know they hold some bass tournaments down that way uh, for all the professionals, like the big names like Scott Martin and all that. Check it out, Google it, and uh, maybe if you guys live around there, drop me some comments and let me know what you guys have been catching out there. I know this spring, me and Daniel are actually gonna go to his house and we're gonna either kayak, canoe, and fish while we're out there and try to get it all compact in one weekend. And we also talked about a lot of uh, catch and cook series for you guys once we're down there as well. So stay tuned for that. If you guys wanna see things like that, give me a big thumbs up and comment below and let me know what kind of fish you'd like for us to, you know, catch and cook. Uh, what you think the best tasting fish is coming out of the water. So like I said, I want to bring my older brother, he's actually my oldest brother, into the spotlight here with me. He is a great fisherman. I'm telling you, we have a lot of fishermen in our family alone, not combining mine and Dan's, just mine alone. And they go out every spring, every summer, and they bring back numbers. I'm talking like big numbers. And you all know me, I'm a big numbers kind of fisherman. But I don't bring as many numbers as they do. But enough of me talking, let's get these clips going, let's get them rolling, and let me introduce you guys to my oldest brother. It's my sister-in-law, Sonita, and you all know mom. Everybody knows mom. Plenty of I have never caught a catfish. I caught bass, bluegill, crappy, I don't want catfish. There's some big catfish where I'm going to take what, 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 uh, what lake or river runs that way? Cumberland River. Show you Cumberland Falls. We got Laurel Lake. Cumberland Lake. I got a, I got a secret places. It's called <laughs> Cannon Lake. The main thing about fishing is you have to study the type of fish that you're fishing for. Right. So when you're fishing for walleye, the key to walleye is you know that they're light sensitive. They are predators. They love to hunt at night. But so, during the but during the, the day when the sun is rising, that's usually when they hit the most. The sun, when it's when the sun is too bright, it hurts their eyes, so they like to go down deep. So if you're in murky water, or you find a place where it's deeper, so the light aren't as hard on their eyes, and that's what gives them the benefit of attacking the minnows and small fish and stuff like that. Question! I'm gonna show you the difference. If you're really, you know, getting into the, the fishing part. See, this is what I use. See the two I like this. Feel the difference between this pro. That's, this is why Careful. this is a $200 outfit. Oh my Whoa. gosh. See that? Even with the braid line on there, it's super light. That's right. Here, See, you can feel the difference between the pole. That's braided line. Wow. Yeah. This is a new line. It's actually, see, I got to replace it, but it is, this line is, it's so smooth. How, how strong is it? It's about 45. Mm, no, this one's about 30. I about like 30 that. Pounds. This is nice, yeah. But it's, the way I've designed it is for fishing. For river fishing, okay? Because you throwing out light. rooster tails? Mm -hmm. hmm. Well, rooster tail, you'll catch everything from a rooster tail, you know what I mean? Because you're, 
We got you want the action. Wow, but look, this, even the uh this smoke, this our was it uh, Abu Garcia smoke? Abu Garcia? Yeah, Abu Garcia. And this one's made in the US. That's the difference between it's a Buku Falcon. I think this one's was a, a seven, seven foot rod? Foot. Yeah. Yeah, it's this huge. One, like for crappie, this is what I use because I want a longer reach. Okay. But this is my other one. This is this is the one I like to use when I'm just catching walleye. Guys, he has taken my old school truck and turned it into a fishing machine. He added hooks. To hold up these See, this scars. one's I think is a six. I should have kept the scar. <laughs> this this is a six. But I have to change. But this this one I've used a fluger. Which is really good. But see this is a whole different type of braided line. So mainly river fishing, I need to get braided line regardless. Yeah. You yeah. want the thing about braided line, it doesn't stretch. And it doesn't break easy either. That's right. So you want the strength, but you also want the casting distance. So you can cast wherever you want to cast. It's got to be light enough to cast, but That's also right. the, the strength, strength of it. Yeah. Makes a big difference, and it's stiff. So when the fish is hitting, you can feel it. It doesn't stretch like, like a this. like a plastic, like fiber line. Mono, yeah. So I just, you know, it just, that's the difference, giving you the different competitive edge. So whenever you want to uh, get rid of your poles, your little sister, um, <laughs> <laughs> your little sister can take some investments here. We're going fishing down in uh, Barberville. That's where we going. This spring. Cumberland River. Different parts of Cumberland River. I like how we took the Sunday fun day vlog and turned it into a huge fishing ordeal. Okay. See the, the edges? It gives that vibration in that water. So the the walleye, they're very sensitive with their lines. And color, like this. Oh, Dan will love those. Yeah. I've actually got these, I believe, at Dick's and some at Cabela's. But it's just certain colors that, that makes it makes the walleye see better in a, in a murky water. And these are just half of the lures that I got. All right, sign off here, guys. If you like this video and you want to make a comment and you want to go to Barberville. You screwed up. All right, guys, sign off here. Like, comment, and see you in Barberville. He talks a lot, doesn't he? <laughs> Runs in the family. But anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you like videos like this, give me a big thumbs up and drop me a comment below and give me some fishing tactics that work in your area that might work in mine. If you've been out catching walleye before, you've eaten walleye before, let me know. Drop me a comment. I want to know what it tastes like, but I'm not going to experience that until we actually go down to his house to go fishing. Now, before we get completely out of here, guys, remember the 150 to dress challenge that Daniel's got going on and the $20 gift card giveaway for Academy Sports. Make sure you check below for all the rules, and hopefully you'll be the next winner. But I'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new vlog.